Embrace all parts of you. Discover your gifts and put them to use. Those are three of the most important things you can do right now. Your awareness needs to be the highest it's ever been in your entire life. And that's what this series is designed to do. Guide you there. So let's try this. We're going to do three rounds of breathing to start. You can have your eyes closed or you can have them open. Make sure you get very comfy. And I will count for 30 seconds silently. Okay, you're just going to breathe at your own pace. All right, deep breaths. Here we go. Round one. Ready and go. And come on back. All right. Okay. Round two, you are going to breathe deeper than you did in round one. Okay. Deeper than you did in round one. You can have your eyes opened or closed at your own pace. Round two, here we go. Ready and go. And come on back. All right. Here we go. The final round. Okay. You are going to breathe as deep as you can. Okay. As deep as you can at your own pace. 30 seconds. Okay. Round three. Ready and go. All right, and come on back. Okay. How do you feel so far? Mmm, good. Okay. We're going to move on to the next round for this episode. Peripheral vision. Now, you can do this in many different parts of the room. I mean, there's the kitchen, the bathroom, the living room. I want you to find a table, okay? Preferably a table that, or a counter, waist up. Something at a decent level, or I guess you could have a table that's lower than your waist. That's fine, yes. Now I want you to find, let's say, an object. Let's say a water bottle, something, uh, you know, a plastic water bottle. Okay, and I want you to place it on the counter or table. Okay. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to keep your eyes forward. You're going to face forward. Okay. You are going to walk past this table with your peripheral vision focused on the bottle. You are going to keep looking forward. You will not turn your head to look at the bottle. You will look forward. You're using your peripheral vision to see the bottle and you're going to walk until the bottle is out 
of your peripheral vision. Okay? So you're just going to start before the table and keep walking forward until you pass the table until that bottle is no longer in your peripheral vision. Okay? All right? And what you can do is you can do that multiple times and do it slowly. Okay? Do it slowly or at least slow enough for your peripheral vision to identify the item. You're using your peripheral vision, locating the bottle that you've placed on the counter or the table, wherever you've placed it, and you're just keeping your eye on it, but without looking directly at it, okay? So hopefully you've been doing that as I've been speaking. <laughs> okay, so you can try that a few more times, stepping forward and then stepping backward stepping forward and then stepping backward just using your peripheral vision okay now we're going to move on to the next phase now this is going to be challenging okay it's a it's, it's a challenging exercise even for myself you are going to take this bottle or you can use a cloth if you don't want anything heavy on the hands all right Find a position in the room, maybe the living room, some place where you won't break anything because this involves a toss. All right. That's why you may want to go with a washcloth. OK. So what you're going to do is you're going to get on your knees. OK. Or get in a comfy position in the center of the room. All right. With your left hand, you are going to toss the item up but you are going to catch it with your right hand and you are not going to watch the flight of the item. You're going to continue to face forward. Understand? So you're going to keep facing forward, but you're going to toss the item up with your left. When the item comes into your vision, looking forward, peripheral, you're going to catch it with your right hand. Okay? Try it. Toss the item up, gently toss it up out of your vision, catch it with your right hand. As soon as it comes into your vision, catch it. Don't look at the item, though. Don't look directly at the item. Okay, you're using your peripheral vision to catch the item with your right hand. Or if you want to toss it with your right and catch it with your left, do that. Okay. Now, it may be challenging, especially for bottles. And hopefully, you're not using the bottle that you were using for the previous exercise. I think a cloth would be better. Although, if you want more challenging drills with this, you can use the more solid objects like a marker. But for now, use the washcloth. Have you been doing it? Toss the item with one hand. Catch it with the other as soon as the item enters your peripheral vision. Okay, you are not watching the item in flight. Okay, let's move on to the next part of this exercise. You definitely want to stand for this one. Okay, depending on how high your ceiling is, you might want to do the toss a little bit lighter, maybe. It depends on your height, obviously, but yes, this one is a little different. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to toss the item with your right hand or left hand, whichever hand you choose. We'll just go with the left for now. You're going to toss the item over your shoulder. You're going to spin around and catch the item with the opposite hand. Okay. Whatever hand you use for the toss, that's not the hand you're going to catch it with. You're going to catch it with the opposite hand. So you toss the item over your shoulder above your head, over your shoulder, you will turn around and catch the item when it enters your peripheral vision. Toss the item over your shoulder or above your head going behind you and you're going to quickly turn around and catch the item. You are not going to watch the flight of the item. You will continue to face forward. So even when you turn around, you're still going to face forward. You are not going to look up. Do not follow the flight of the item. You are going to trust your peripheral vision and catch 
the item. All right. Okay. How successful have you been so far? Maybe you've caught some. Maybe you've dropped some. All right. Remember, do not watch the flight of the item. Trust your abilities. All right. Your awareness needs to be at an all-time high right now. Because when you're out there in public, you need to be using your peripheral vision. You need to be using all of your senses. Using other abilities that maybe you haven't used excessively. Adding more strength. Finding your gifts. Your awareness needs to be higher than it's ever been in your entire life. It's needed right now. You see what's going on in the world. You see what's going on state by state. You see what's going on in your city. You know. So that means when you're out there in public, no matter where you go, to the store, church, work, running errands, going on a trip, recreation, business, wherever you go, you need to turn your awareness up at full volume. So for this entire week, Work on these drills. Try these drills. Of course, you can watch other episodes of this series for the meditation, healing drills, telepathy drills, sound focusing. There are many different types of drills you can choose in these episodes or in this series. But for this one, yes, all week. Try it. And remember, you are more than you think you are.